This is Mike with Bill Brothers for 2722 Kobe Drive, San Diego, doing a roof inspection on an asphalt shingle roof. Uh, approximate age is oof, at least a 25 year old roof, um, maybe more just based on condition. This is an arc, a, a three tab asphalt shingle roof. As you can see on this side, I mean, the granules are gone. This is just fiberglass showing. Then some repairs. He's put, looks like he's put in a few here and there. She got exposed nails. She got torn torn up there with exposed nails. Exposed nails on the ridge. Done a few repairs here and there, but definitely uh, in uh, pretty tough condition. Um, there is attic ventilation. Those are whirly birds. Both of them, I think he said, are making noise. So they're probably on their last leg. You know, these have bearings in them, so over time they will. Uh, They'll, they'll start to make noise and then they'll just stop. So, but uh, see the pipe vents, crack on that one. Not sure what's going on there. But, uh, he said he had one leak over by the garage. Looks like where he's got kind of there's some wood up here. He's probably putting up a tarp. I think this was an addition right here. So maybe where they pieced it together under here. You can kind of see he's got a lot of stuff going on under there. So definitely going to be some, it's always a tough area. It's kind of underneath the eave like that. It's going to repair here. You can see all that too. Um, there is a direct TV dish on the roof. If you're not using that, we suggest uh, we'll remove it and get rid of it. Or uh, if you're going to put it back on, put it on the fascia and don't put it on the uh, through the roof because that's more holes in the roof. Uh, chimney flashing, not in the greatest shape. You got all these nails, they're punched in, they should be coated. You got this little metal flashing here, too. It's a pretty slow, lo slow, uh, low slope all the way around. So on low slopes, you really want to, you know, this is about maybe 3 and 12. You want to put some stuff on the eaves, water barriers on the eaves underneath. And that way, uh, because if water, you know, it's such a low slope, it could sit on the edge. And you don't want it getting through. But um, definitely time for re-roof, and we will discuss all the options with the homeowner.